and today I am going to speak on the topic of petrichor. The ethereal blood of gods drips in the serenity from the skies above. So serene that the whole world seems to go into oblivion. The drops slide on the narrow platform of leaves only to penetrate the dry thirsty soils giving out the winsome smell of petrichor. Petrichor is the early smell produced when rain falls on dry soil. This is how Wikipedia defines petrichor. But what is petrichor to you? Is it something that brings a flashback of memories into your mind? Or is it something which brings you closer to love? In my opinion, petrichor is something so dalise, something so pure and untouched that, that it has the power to stir hearts. Petrichor can be something maybe love smells like. Like the smell of the earth after the shower of rain that you watch from a window, smiling inwardly to yourself, enjoying the tranquil solitude on a moonless night. It can be the faint reflection of someone dead long ago in some unfought war, longing to express himself or herself to the wider public. To me, petrichor is not just an earthy, wetty and calm scent. According to me, it is that relief, that peacefulness that one gets after a long day's work. Petrichor is a symbol of tranquility, quiet, grace, poise and a kind of an equilibrium in one's life. It is quite onelic where one gets transported to his or her lava lands. When I smell that serene fragrance, I feel kind of an adrenaline rush in my body. It fills me with a force, with an energy to, come, to ponder over things on the back of my mind. Petrichor can make one realize that at the end of the day, no matter what, even the driest of the driest will have a new luster. It is quite astonishing how a mere scent can make one understand that one might be without cracks, but those do heal the time. But a coin always has two sides. Imagine yourself sitting in the library and peacefully reading a good book. When you suddenly come to know that the building is on fire. Now Petrichor at the same time be the low rumble of a distant thunder. It can indicate an oncoming storm that might eventually go on destroying or destructing everything. But 